Hi there, my name is Marcus Thomas, bringing you another tech tip from Kaiser Premier. Today we're going to go over the basics of winterizing the water system in your hydrovac. Water, as we all know, is an important tool in the day-to-day -day operations of your machine. But in cold weather, it can also be your worst enemy, as freezing water will damage expensive components. To start off, we need to stop the flow of water from the freshwater tank to the pumping system by closing the tank supply valve. Next, we'll drain off the water feed line and manifold. This step is especially important if you have ball valves in the suction side of your water system. Now we will close the isolation valve in the cabinet. With the pumping and heating equipment isolated from the fresh water tank, we can now purge the system. Begin by opening the lower manifold drain and the suction vent valve. When there's no longer water flowing from the lower drain, close both valves. Next, pull the pressure hose out of the cabinet and fully open the ball valve on the end of the hose. Now with the pressure hose pointed in a safe direction, locate and crack open the air purge valve. During this step, water will flow out of the end of the pressure hose. The system has over 400 feet of line and will take a few minutes to blow out. Once there is no longer a steady stream of water coming out of the hose, close the air purge valve and open the suction vent to release the remaining air in the system. With that, the system is purged of most of the water. If the truck was to freeze, the likelihood of component damage is extremely low. But there's still some water in the system, and if it was to freeze, it's enough to keep you from working in the morning. This is where the glycol system comes in. By pumping glycol through the system, we push the remainder of the water through and thus remove any possibility for ice plugs in the lines. To introduce glycol to the system, start by opening the glycol supply valve. Allow the suction line to fill with glycol. Now turn on the pump. Slower speeds are better as the glycol is fed from the tank through a small line. As the glycol works through the system, water will again start to flow from the end of the pressure hose. Once there's a steady stream of undiluted glycol coming out of the hose, the pump can be turned off and the pressure hose valve closed. We factory fill the tank with RV antifreeze as it's eco-friendly and a little on the ground isn't a problem. Don't forget to close the glycol supply valve. With that, the system is now winterized. To reclaim the glycol and get the system ready for work, Simply take the pressure hose and connect it to the glycol recycle port. If your machine does not have the glycol recycle port, remove the lid for the tank and hold the pressure hose valve in the tank and open the valve. Now crack the air purge valve open again and the glycol will begin to blow back into the tank. Once you start to see air moving up the line into the tank, you can close the air purge valve and your system is again ready for water. See, that wasn't so bad. Thanks again for stopping by for another protective from Kaiser Premier.